Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris D from PC Addicts. In this video, I've enlisted the help of my stepson Tyler and my son Chris to help build us a test machine to test out this AMD A8 3800 APU. Okay, for our build, here's our AMD A8 3800 APU. And to cool that APU is going to be the Zalman CNPS 5X CPU cooler. Some very, uh, some old uh, free thermal paste I had laying around. Our Gigabyte motherboard. Kingston's HyperX 8GB DDR3 RAM. A very old 500 watt power supply that used to be used for my main computer for a lot of years. And an old Antec ATX full tower computer case. And for our build, here's Junior throwing in uh, the CPU, putting on that thermal paste. Yeah. Putting on that awesome cooler. And futuristic looking. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. Throwing in our RAM, of course. Very shiny. Our awesome screwdriver. I like that screwdriver, by the way. It's magnetic. All right, so it's just a standard uh, hard drive. Nothing special about it. I don't know the size. Some specs, fuel deposit. So there we go. Hey, look, it's my setup. Yeah, this is Junior's setup. Of course, two computer, two monitors on the left is his computer, and this one. Playing Half-Life 1, or Half-Life Source, actually. Look at my elite skills. Uh, then I'm sampling Skyrim. It's uh, without recording on Fraps. Getting maybe 17, nope, 13. Yeah. 13 FPS. <laughs> okay, here we are within Half-Life Source. I am very good at shooting things. I knew it wouldn't have any troubles running this, but I just wanted to make sure. It's kind of old, but it is running in the Source engine, so it looks a bit better. I know you can't take it down with with uh, conventional guns. I believe you have to use a rocket launcher, maybe. I'm not sure. But here's a little loading screen. As you can see, it loads very quickly. Uh, there are absolutely no slowdowns, even when you turn the flashlight on or off. We are going into Half-Life 2. It actually looks like we have 30 FPS, but that's just fraps limiting it. It was actually getting around 100 FPS without the flashlight on. Here I'm showing the dynamics of the physics in the Source engine. The explosion effects are same old, same old Half-Life 2. Okay. Oh look, a zombie. <laughs> yeah, absolutely no slowdowns so far. It looks good. Here we are with the flashlight on. Just having some fun with the trap. Here we are in the Heaven DX11 benchmark. I'm actually running it in DX9 mode without ambient occlusion or uh, uh, anti-aliasing. But it did say DX11 on the top there. I know. Oh. That's just the engine. Oh, see, I don't know. <laughs> it's running in the Unigen engine. Uh, here we are with this little view. It has a lot of grass, it has a lot of polygons, it has to render a lot, so of course it's going to slow down. Uh, I'm not sure of the frame rate there. Uh, it looks like 14, maybe 15 while recording, got maybe 18 without recording. Uh, here we have an over, a pretty big overview. It has the massive dragon. I have uh, it set to DX9, so of course it's not going to be... Uh, sure. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah DX, DX11 has a lot of features. And here we are going to Skyrim. It's what you saw with the camera itself. Uh, there's a lot of fog effects in this little beginning part. I wanted to show it because, well, a lot of people, people like me, we like to start new characters. We'll be seeing this a lot. So, cool. it's kind of important. Here we are just in Whiterun. I'm just giving you a little overview. What's Whiterun? Whiterun is a town in Skyrim. Ah. It's one of the very first towns you go to. Uh, we're getting about 15 to 16 FPS while recording here. I wanted to sprint just to give that wider field of view. I'm, I'm showing you the slowdowns it gives when you look at the mountains, all the fog over there. I'm running no mods on it, it's just hardware detected settings, you know, some default settings. Some stuff is set to medium, some is high, some is low. Here are with max settings and the, high, the HD texture pack. You can tell it looks good, but it's kind of jerky, huh? Yeah. It's a uh, bad FPS for you. Mm. 
but it is a console port, so it does run pretty well. As hmm. you can see, it actually runs a little better, and I'm not sure why. Hmm. And you're recording too. So. Yeah. Huh. Looks pretty nice. Mods make it better. And I haven't forgotten you MMO players out there. Here we are with some WoW Mist of Pandaria. This is DX11. Everything max except for anti-aliasing. I absolutely hate anti-aliasing. I don't know why. What is that? It it basically gets rid of all the jaggies. Oh, like it smooths out the little pixel, the edges or something? Mm -hmm. Kind of blurs it a little bit, probably? Yeah, not oh, really. Okay. It smooths out. <laughs> all right. Here I'm just showing you all the settings I have. A few settings are custom using the console, or not console, uh, console commands. You know, Hopefully you can see this. You may have to throw it in the 720 or... Here are when at the lowest settings, as you can see, everything looks absolutely terrible. It looks like crap. It looks like vanilla. All your vanilla players will remember that. Uh, we're getting pretty good FPS here. I think us MMO players will be very happy with the score if you're on a tight budget. It's uh, how expensive is it? Uh, I think it's like around 100 bucks right now. That's 110, good. yeah. That's good. I mean, figuring you don't have to buy a video card. Yeah. I mean, if if you're happy with these results, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm just showing you some outlines. It it looks pretty. It looks better at 1080, but I don't I didn't have a 1080p monitor to test this out in, and since it can't run Skyrim very well at at a what is it? 1024 12, or 1280. 1280 by 1024, it's not going to run very well at 1080. Okay, and we'll wrap this up with a couple screenshots with the system properties as well as the Windows Experience ratings. And uh, I'm actually very impressed with the ratings. came out very, very well. Given, of course, the hard hard disk was the uh, bottleneck on this one. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this APU, and I highly recommend it. If you're, if you're on a budget and you're looking for a, a decent gaming system and not having to spend a lot of money on an extra video card, this thing will work out very well. And thanks for watching, guys, and leave your comments below.